Well, welcome YouTube friends and family. I look a little worse than I thought. I hope you'll excuse the way I look. So today I thought I'm going to try to take you along thrifting and junking and maybe a little antique shopping. So I'm at a Goodwill that is not in a very safe part of town. It's a very interesting, well, it's not part of my town. Okay, let me share that. So there is a drug treatment center right next door, which is a great thing, guys. I'm not downing anyone, you know? That's a necessary service where they come daily to get their um, medication to help keep them off opiates. And then next to that is the beer and wine drive through I don't mean to laugh, but um, so, sometimes rough clientele here. I've never had a problem. Um, I'm equipped with some mace, things that I would need should I get in trouble, but let me show you really quick, guys. I did so well. I just have to show you the one thing. So hold, hold on. Are you ready for it? Yeah, a yellow Pyrex bowl. And I paid $7.99 for the bowl, but it's senior day. So this is always a really good day to go. Sorry guys, I'm, I also got something else and I'm trying, I just hate all the bags and the wrapping because then I have to dispose of it. So um, I forget what the discount is. I'll have to look at my receipt when I do a, a final share with you. Sorry about my hand. And we are gonna head down the highway and see what kind of trouble we can get into in the next big town over. I'm going to be going to <laughs> not the heart of Ohio Antique Mall, but the big, um, there, it's actually two places. It's called, I think, Springfield Antique Mall, and their prices are generally a lot less, and their selection's a little bit different. So, come on, get your seatbelt on if you're going to ride with me, and let's go do some fun thrifting. So, this is actually one of two antique malls and this one's at the top of the hill the other one's at the bottom so i thought we'd start at this one so far there's only one car here which may be an employee so let's go in and see what we can find stay tuned Very lucky today in that it is quite empty so the center is a lot of cases but they also have cases on the side and then some open booths, which are my favorite. And I'll just share, when I was growing up, we had this set and it could be mine for $95. And they even have the coffee mug set that's 85. So I've looked at them every time I'm here. I don't see any sign. Sometimes a booth will have a general sale. And they have a lot of toys, watches, things that I'm not generally interested in, but there's plenty more to look at. So I always start at 101 and work my way through. So come on with me. So here's just a good example. This is a very nice linen tablecloth. It is marked down to $3. I looked at an almost identical one at the antique store that they wanted 50. Yes, I said $50 for, so I think this is gonna go home with me. I also love um, Fenton as, as well as any kind of milk glass with the hobnail bubbles on them. I have quite a bit, but I always like to look because sometimes you can find a piece. Candy Dish is six. This is nine. Um, my mom has the salt and peppers, so I'll wait till I get those from her eventually. And this is 18, so very fair pricing here. And they just have lots of lovely, lovely things to look at. Sweet little cradle here too. This is one of my favorite booths to look for vintage clothing. She has hats, some vintage footwear, but what cracks me up is a lot of their vintage is now 80s. 
And as much as I like vintage, I would not want a pair of drawers with a zipper in the front. So if y'all remember me showing you my collection of Better Homes and Gardens books, they went $10 for this one. So both 1963. And I believe this is a different cover, but the same um, buffet book I already have. So we'll keep. So it really does pay to no prices. This chip and dip I just purchased at the Goodwill for $7. So the footed compote is 35 so a little pricey they do have sort of a creamer or gravy bow that matches my butter dish but it's 25 so we'll keep try to talk over the music but sometimes you come across booths like this guys so the walking space here less than a foot and it's there's stuff all over the floor all the way back and i have to tell you my vision is one sneeze and I could take out most of their Pyrex and Fire King. I would love to have one, to, one of these vintage pole lamps like this. This one's in amazing shape, but it has an amazing price. So one of these days at a thrift store, I will find one. So I grew up with these um gaudy type pieces this is california pottery black and gold it does say california original usa with the mold numbers so yeah i've picked it up sometimes i will have them hold things until i make a decision so very pretty and in great condition Guys, this is why it pays to goodwill Yellow Bowl Pyrex, not in nearly as good a shape of what I just picked up for $7 at the Goodwill. Yeah, buddy. This is a booth that has a lot of vintage clothing. Always fun to look through. Even vintage little kids clothing. Look at this cute little horse. Is that adorable? Oh, wow, we had these snack trays when I was a kid. How about that? I guess I'm officially antique. Well, welcome back to part two, thrifting. So, one of my favorite things to do, guys, when I have some me time is to get in the car, like Google some places, just take off where I don't know where I'm going, and just find new places to thrift. So I found a brand new one. This is called, oh, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. Well, never mind. It's called Ohio Thrift Store. And um, this used to be a great craft store. It was called Crafts 2000. I knew it was out of business. So let's go in and see what kind of goodies they may have. I know nothing about this store. So come on with me. So I apologize, I'm gonna to have to do a voiceover because of the loud music. Just panning the store, it is mostly clothing, but they did have a pretty good housewares type section in the back. Through the middle was supposed to be the higher end products. And let me tell you guys, there were some interesting finds like this missing handle for only $7. And then next to it, a casserole that was so dirty and they wanted $13 for this. So I abandoned the high end aisle and went to the back where there were more thrifty finds for sure. I also noticed they had a lot of new items, kind of like a big lots. So it was like crushed or discontinued boxes of aluminum foil, etc. etc. In the back, I did get a good laugh because everybody needs a sign that says, Welcome to our hoe. Over here, I'm showing you this welcome sign, which was a Dollar Tree item for 99 cents this year. They had it marked for $2.99, but yet this vintage candy dish right in front was $2.99. So there was no real rhyme nor reason. 
This is a hobbyist piece I thought was not my taste, but kind of interesting. Um, it was made by Heather. Heather did not do well in ceramics. So just panning back and forth here to show you, there is a little bit of everything. This is another vintage piece. They had marked for like $1.99. I spied the strawberry trivet, but alas, it was cardboard. So I passed. So this was just a novelty item. Our governor is Mike DeWine, and because he had a daily news conference during the height of the pandemic, there was a little joke about wine with DeWine, and every time you said a certain thing that he repeats, you take a sip. I'm not a drinker, but that is a piece of 2020 history I kind of wish I would have gotten, <laughs> because that will never be again. Then I discovered the shoes, guys, and these are all Kohl's returns or rejects. So I'm showing you my crazy socks, these fabulous peep-toe shoes. Ignore my crazy socks. They fit like a dream. They were super, super comfortable. They were Steve Madden girl. They were $5.99, but they did have a big scuff in the side, and I shouldn't be wearing six-inch heels with my back. So they stayed at the store. So that trip was not a total bust. I found a couple pieces of... Fire King, kind of like Pyrex, that are so very useful. And they need to be cleaned up, but very, very reasonable prices. So I talked with the staff a little bit, and this is kind of like a big lots or odd lots where they're buying out, unfortunately, returns from stores, plus they take donations. So when they get a donation of a vintage item, they were telling me, we don't have time to look that stuff up. We just put a low price on it and stick it out because most of the people are here for the Kohl's buyout stuff. So I didn't buy the shoes, guys. They were so cute. But six inch heels aren't good for my back. So since I am in Springfield, Ohio, I think I'm going to take a little trip over to their Goodwill. I don't always have good luck there, but I'm literally like two miles. So why not? So here we go. Get your seatbelt on. All right, guys, stop number two. This is the large Goodwill uh, in Springfield, Ohio, not the one that's in a scary part of town. So let's go in and see what we can find. Voice over here, just to share with you, this is one of the new electric pressure cookers. They wanted $47.99, but there was no manual. And quite honestly, I was unsure if it even worked. So I decided I should just pass this up. But it is a nifty looking gadget. Um, found a couple little things. I'll share it to the end. Um, not a whole lot here. It's a very large Goodwill, but it's mostly clothes. So I think I'm going to go over to Heart of Ohio Antique Mall which I have taken you there before, but the last time I was there, I pooped out <laughs> less than halfway through. So I went to go check my favorite booths as well as do the other side of the store that I was too tired to do. So one of the things I do whenever I go junking, thrifting or, or antiquing is I always have snacks and y'all know I have my sippy cup. Kim doesn't leave the house without the sippy cup. <laughs> I'm, I am always thirsty. No, I'm not diabetic. So I'm going to have a little snack on my way. I'm about 15 miles from the antique mall and I will try to get some really cool shots for you there. And then I will wrap up this whole thrifting day, which has really been two days, um, with sharing with you what I found. So stay tuned. So I wanted to show you, I just scored big at the Goodwill because I purchased the bottom one here that they want $13 for. Much cheaper. But they do have a nice price on the Cinderella bowls for the free brown. So I do have quite a bit of brown as well. So lots to look at here. Cute little elf planter probably 50s. So these are super hot right now as purses on eBay 
It's a 1960s Pan Am travel bag. This one's in pretty good shape. 45. Most of them are more like 60. It's pretty clean. It's up. Got a nice hole there. One there, but I just thought it was interesting. I've never seen one in a thrift store, so there you have it. So here is a super cool bar set. It's an eight-piece French poodle circus horse carousel cocktail shaker with caddy. So it has poodles on it. It's in good shape. I'm not even sure how you get to the... Oh, and there's how you get to the shaker. I'm so attracted to vintage barware for a person that doesn't drink alcohol. The disadvantage to antique balls is that you get tired and then everything starts to look the same. I'm going to stand up and turn around here and just show you Adele Earnhardt Jr. collectible and they want $49 for it. So here's a little known fact about me. I was a huge, huge, huge Jeff Gordon fan when he raced and I have a lot of truly collectible items from NASCAR that someday I will sell because someone I used to work with his wife worked for m and Mars when they sponsored Sterling Marlin and Dale Earnhardt Sr. And I was actually at the uh, Daytona 500 when Dale Earnhardt tragically was killed. So there's something you didn't know about Kim. I don't watch NASCAR anymore. Um, I don't have time. <laughs> but I'm, I always try to look for seating so I can like rest my back and keep going. I'm not finding a whole lot, guys. I'm finding a whole lot I like, but that's just way out of line. So um, this might not be the best aisle, and I will head clear to the other end here shortly. I just wanted to share, we had one of these Bissell Breezes. Now, it was brown, not turquoise, but I hated with a bloody passion to use it because you get all of the lint vacuumed up off the carpet, and at the last minute, it would throw up the entire contents on the carpet. Any of you remember that? Drop me a comment below if you do. Guys, I have looked and looked at these vintage like talcum powders and things. A lot of them are from Avon for my vintage vanity. And they are outrageous. So if you guys have the 411 on a best place to find them, because I'm not paying $11 for something to look at, drop me a comment below. I all remember my vintage black magazine rack that I thrifted three dollars there you go so this is one of my favorite booths they do have a mid-century shadow box but it has been so heavily enameled can y'all see that it's lost all of its character so not a fan all right guys well Final reveal, what did I buy? And if you hear crinkling in the background, I brought home a paper sack for Frankie because that's like the best toy ever for him. So at the very first Goodwill that I went to, I scored, guys, a Pyrex Yellow Bull in excellent condition. Ooh, I believe it was $7.99. I have all my receipts here, but I'm not even sure. Yeah, I'm sorry, $7.19 because I got the senior discount. And then I found these lovely taper candles. They were marked $1.99, but can you see what it says down there? Yeah, $24. So these are dripless fufu candles with a 14 hour burn time. But these will be lovely tapers, just a variegated green to use at holiday season. Sorry, cat hair just flew by. <laughs> or any other time of the year where candles are appropriate. So that was from my first Goodwill stop. Then I went to Ohio Thrift. <clears throat> and I mean, I really spent too much money. <laughs> not, not so much. So let me um, remember what came from where. That's pretty bad. Oh, here we go. Yes. So I found this very dirty <laughs> um, 
I believe this is glass, sorry, glass bake casserole dish. Guys, if you're trying to avoid plastic and you can find these at the Goodwill, these are great. And you can also wrap them very well and freeze in them. They are freezer proof. I paid $3.99. I saw these several times and I showed you in the video for like 30 bucks. Yeah, good deal. And this will clean right up. That's what a magic eraser is for. I also found this really cute loaf pan and it is also, I believe, a glass bake and it was $3.99 as well. I did see several other um, glassware with this pattern today, all, you know, $20, $30. So those two were very, very good scores. <clears throat> then I popped into the Goodwill. This is too much to keep up with. Yes. And guys, um, Frankie's been walking on it, so it's wet. This is a vintage metal snack tray. These things are are so expensive in an antique store. I love the kitschy pattern to it, and I paid a whopping 99 cents. So um, I did in the Goodwill, like wash everything off with one of their disinfecting wipes because it had a stained area, and I thought it looked like coffee, but I was not about to do the spit wash on something like that. The other thing I purchased, y'all know I like milk glass, is a really pretty um, spoon rest, but what's so unique about it, I hope you guys can see it's It's a pear and cherries and grapes on the front. That's a pretty good shot, but look what it is on the back. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see. It has a flower print that's beautiful on the back. So I thought this was a good buy for $1.99. And the final thing that I paid 99 cents for they only charge me 99 although it says a dollar 99 is this owl y'all know i have an owl room but i got this because it's a scarf holder for like my um scarves and bandanas and things that i wear i thought this would be a good way to keep it organized so i really liked it for you know what no this this was 99 cents, this was $1.99. So that was my Goodwill finds. Then I went on over to the expensive store. And guys, I tell you, I could spend a fortune at the antique store, but yeah, you have to be realistic. And one thing I thought that was really interesting, and I was pretty well all over the place. I purchased, I love these. This divided, it's in very good shape. Pyrex, it's called Early American. Uh, casserole, no nicks, um, excellent shape. And I paid 15 for this, $15. I would walk in the next booth and it would be 35. In the next booth, 48. The prices were all over the place. So, you know, if you're shopping in an antique mall with booths, I just encourage you to go Go look, write down the, the number of the booth where you found it and pray that it's there when you get back. I also purchased this really cute <clears throat> um, white gold letter holder. And they had two of them and it was in, again, one of my favorite booths. I keep looking at them. So it's got a place to hang your keys and to keep your bills much neater than I keep mine. But it was just so pristine. Like there's no rust. So that the other one was pretty rusty and it was only a couple dollars off. I did get 10% off on this and I'll just be honest, I paid $22.50. And I know that's a little bit high and was kind of a splurge, but guys, it's gonna look fabulous when I get the kitchen painted. And then, okay, don't laugh. My final purchase is this lovely mid-century modern glass pitcher. Gosh, I'm getting all kinds of glare. It has fishing lures. It's red. It's got some gold. It's an excellent shape. I haven't washed it, obviously. This is the cocktail stirrer. So yes, this is vintage barware from the 50s. No, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> but I do have a little um, faux bar set up. 
in my great room. So I thought this would be a lovely addition and it was $18.95, which is a lot cheaper than what most of the booths wanted for anything even remotely similar. So I hope you've enjoyed this thrifting extravaganza, some really great buys, some splurges, but I think all in all, I did pretty well. Now, I'm not going to do a ton of these videos, I will promise you that. And we are in the pantry challenge. I haven't focused a lot on that because we're so early in. It's not a tremendous challenge if you're well stocked about what you're going to cook. But I am going to be doing a video coming up, so stay tuned, about how I am going to take a look at my pantry and start making lists of meals that I'm going to prepare. So pseudo meal planning. <laughs> so I hope you will stay tuned for that. Thank you again for your time today. If you haven't already, please go ahead and smash that like button. Share my video with those who enjoy thrifting, antiques, vintage wear. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, be healthy, be well, be blessed, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.